It's fun to look at and it's even more fun to drive. The 2012 Jaguar XF with a supercharged engine in it. This vehicle has had some updates for 2012. They've changed the front end a little bit and cleaned it up. Includes some HID Xenon headlights, also some daytime running lights, LED lights in the back with indicators, a new eight-speed transmission, and also you can add in some new seats on the interior. But this is just the beginning of the story because Jaguar have made some big announcements about changes coming to the brand. In fact, those changes include all-wheel drive for the XF and the XJ. Jaguar is inherently a rear-wheel drive vehicle and we've really tried to ensure that the all-wheel drive system delivers an exciting vehicle to drive whilst also providing that confident low-grip performance. You'll also have stop-start technology saving you 5% in gas consumption constantly monitored grip with that all-wheel drive system. They tested the car for 18 months in below freezing conditions to find out exactly how it would react. The car has done extremely well, so they're bringing it to market. The new all-wheel drive system will have a bias for the rear axle, but as soon as it feels slip without grip, it'll transfer power to the front axle. Therefore, mostly rear-wheel drive and the driving dynamics of a Jaguar when the slip starts to happen, the power will move and you'll be able to keep control of your vehicle. The vehicle is moving from a lower grip surface, maybe a wet road, and then transitions onto a dry tarmac, onto a higher grip. Then the system will sense that and as it's continuously variable, then it will start to move more torque to the rear axle to optimise that Jaguar driving performance. In winter mode, there'll be a pre-warning that traction could be lost, and therefore the car can adjust a lot quicker and make sure that grip and traction is kept when different wheels have different road surfaces to cope with. Jaguar are very famous for having aluminum components in their vehicles, including the hood. Underneath the hood of this particular XF, you'll find a very desirable engine. This is a V8, 430 horsepower, five liters, zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds, 50 miles a gallon in the city, 21 on the highway. This has more horsepower than its competitors, which include 20 more horsepower than the BMW 550i, 35 more horsepower than the Audi S6, and 88 more horsepower than the Mercedes-Benz S550. The Supercharged has vents on the hood that say supercharged, just in case you forget what you're driving. A lot of the changes in this vehicle have been brought in line with the XJ, so the cars look more similar. Some new fenders on the front, the new hood, the new front grille are all becoming signatures of the new XF. And the wheels, they're all new for 2012 and you get your choice of colors. But it's the inside where Jaguar really comes into their own with that British luxury you'd expect from a gentleman's club or a finely tailored yacht. New leather colors, a rounded shifter knob, assorted woods and metals, a rear sunshade, electronic handbrake, air vents which turn when you start the car, the hands-free applications on steering wheel, and halo aluminum throughout the interior of the car. Once you sit in this car without even starting it, you feel good about being inside the new Jaguar XF. The whole package has been put together so well, this car is really giving the competition a run for their money. We actually really understand that these cars that we build so well. We know they're great cars, but at last people are recognizing that. And uh, nobody more so than the public themselves are telling us our cars are great.